Hello again, this is Ryan Bummer from Crowley's Yacht Yard Lakeside. Just wanted to do a little bit of drive service for you. So I figured, you know what? Why well, I just change the impeller on an Alpha stern drive? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain the fluid out of the stern drive because that's the first thing you gotta do anyways. You gotta drain it before I can take it all apart. We call this the bullet. At the nose of the bullet, there's a little plug way down under here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen this plug up See, fluid is starting to come out very, very slowly. Now at the top of the drive, it says oil vent. So now air will enter here, which will displace the oil and have it drain out the bottom. So I want to make sure all the oil drains down and out from the pop shaft cavity and all comes out this hole. All right, so we drained all the fluid out of this drive, so now we're ready to go ahead and take it off. So. First thing you gotta do, I know I'm working on the Alpha Drive, I had to put it in forward gear. Why you put it in forward gear? You're gonna see that in a little bit. I'm gonna start to remove what I need to do. We come apart real simple. Now the whole key of this is not to lose any of your parts, so you might need them for back for reassembly. Should come off relatively easy. So this little o-ring is a pretty important guy. If it's not in the seat, not in the groove, not making a proper seal, it's going to leak. We got this nice big heavy fat o-ring that fell off of here. What it does, it goes in this area right around here. And as when the drive comes in, it compresses up against this surface. It's a bearing carrier and the opposite service, which is inside of this housing. So these are all important. Just as important as the gasket itself. And when you, these gaskets, you gotta replace them every time you use them. You take it apart, you gotta throw it away because as you can see, they fall apart. There are several other O-rings on the unit. As these O-rings, which this is exactly where the gimbal bearing rides. This is your shift mechanism. There's a slot. As you can see, the slot is straight. And it needs to be straight because it has to, has to align with this chute. And this is the forward position. So that is why you need to control it in forward to remove this drive. Because if it's turned, it's not coming out. All right, so we got the drive off. We mounted the drive on the bench and we're ready to take the drive apart. So, there's several bolts that hold the drive unit. Two on each side. There's a, a nut in the back of the unit. Underneath the anode plate, there's a nut underneath. Remove all those, you should be able to take the drive and remove it in two pieces. All right, so we're looking here. Clean up some of this grease and oil. So, this is your impeller housing. So we want to inspect all these components. This is called a guide tube. It's basically kind of like a funnel. 
So as long as that tube comes somewhere close to this vicinity, it's guided down and directed right into these ceiling overings. All right, this tube is small in diameter, about the size of my finger. You need to, in, when you put this drive together, that tube needs to fully seat inside that pump housing. As you can see, there's not a lot of space in there. And it fully seats in. So if that little tube does not seat in here fully, what happens is, is that impeller is going to pump the water and it's going to go past, not in the tube where it's supposed to, it's going to go around the outside of that tube, leak into this cavity, which is over here. This is a critical little piece. All right, so let's look at this impeller housing and let's start taking it apart. It's going to be pretty snug, so make sure you use a nice socket. Pump housing. Careful when you slide it up. There's your impeller inside of its bore. We'll, re we'll remove that in a minute. The reason I was telling you to be careful when you're taking that up is that there's a key. Without this key, the impeller will not pump any water. So we know we have the key. We know we have the impeller. Now we have the lower part of the housing. So, you just want to basically remove that so we can inspect it very closely. This is pretty much as far as we really need to go. Uh, what I will do is I'll clean all this ugly stuff off. Uh, so when a new, new assembly seats on there, it has a nice clean surface to seat against. Now we talked about, this is the exhaust cavity. Well, so is this. This is all part of the same section. This is, what, this is what blocks this section and this section off. If this little piece isn't here, it's a piece of rubber. It's kind of like glued into place. If this falls off or leaks, what will happen is you'll lose part of your cooling capacity. Because down there, this side of this chamber, this is the seawater intake side in here. So you want to make sure that that isn't mixing with your exhaust gases. All right, so we have the bottom plate here in my hand. You see there's all kinds of dirt on it. I'm going to carefully wipe this dirt off, and I want to see the condition of it. Now this plate has a built-in rubber gasket all the way around. So that's what we were just kind of like inspecting. What I'm looking for is for excessive amount of wear from the impeller. But what I'm seeing is this real interesting. You can see it's built up on it. I think he spends a little, a lot of time at the beach. So we get a lot of sand starts to build up in these areas. I want to talk a little bit about the actual shaft itself. If you can run your fingers up and down the shaft and you're starting to feel heavy grooves forming, obviously that can't be good. And how much side to side and forward and aft play you have. Excessive amount of play could damage the seal that's underneath this. I'm going to clean all this stuff up. We can put a new impeller in there and put it all back together. But as for now, I think we'll do that another day. Uh, so catch me later and we'll talk about putting this whole unit back together for you. Have a nice day. This is Ryan Bumper from Crowley's Yacht Yard.